Yo, what's poppin' people? Your boy Snacks is back in the building with another banger. And you know how we do. Before we get started, go ahead and do your boy a solid. Hit the like button, man. Hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to turn your post notification bell on so you'll know when your boy is going live or dropping this heat. And just like I predicted, idiot number one has shown up on the internet. You know, I ain't checked for the other idiots yet because I know they're going to pop up in my feed and when they pop up in my feed i don't go searching for them i just let them pop up you know so y'all know we got the biggest the biggest Dion hater is up first you know what i'm talking about the biggest Dion hater i love mr black i hate black that back himself the biggest back of them all jason freaking whitlock now, we're going to go through some of this hate. Y'all know there's some hate involved in all of this. I don't know what it endures because I haven't watched it yet. So this is my live reaction to whatever's going to pop off with Jason Whitlock. We're going to get it popping. I got it up to the Dion point. I ain't getting no commercial, though. That I don't understand. So that means I might get one in the middle of all this action. So we're going to see what's popping. We know it's some hate. We can. We are guaranteed to have hate. So brace yourself, just like I brace myself when we deal with idiots like this that hate us but look like us because we goaded like that. But y'all ready? Let's partake. Y'all know I don't like to suffer alone, but I get to suffer first. And you get to suffer with me as you watch alone and endure the same pain and torment that I get to endure. So without further ado, the biggest hater of Deion Sanders ever on the planet, the biggest Donald Trump supporting right wing black people hating and wish he was white on any given day, he rather peel his skin off than look the way he look right now. Y'all think I'm playing. I ain't playing. Just listen to him talk and you'll know what it is. If you haven't met the hatred of Jason Whitlock, without further ado, let me introduce you. Now we're going to go small screen. We're going small screen. Y'all ready? Fools. And Deion Sanders at the top of that list. And, and it's really not about Deion Sanders as much as the reaction to Baylor's three and one start. It's like, hey, we've been here before. Oh my God. If you watched my previous video, the video right before this one, I predicted that this was gonna come out of this idiot's mouth. Do I know the haters or do I know the haters? I find that. I know the haters. We know how they're going to act because they don't change. They got the same opinion all the time. Just say you hate Dion. I have said it a hundred times. Why don't y'all just say Dion is doing the damn thing and I want to be Dion. I got to answer this phone call. But that's my mom. Y'all hold on. Okay. But the hatred is real. Let's get back to the haters. Does any is, is everybody's memory that bad? Dion and Colorado Saturday night uh pull off a Hail Mary pass with two seconds to go, send the game into overtime, win the game in overtime, cause a fumble, and oh my God, you would have thought they won the Super Bowl. Baylor was three and nine last year. And 
Baylor was in control of that game and would have won the game if not for the idiocy of their head coach. Boy, can I call it or can I call it? Baylor was not in control of that game. Baylor did not have control of that game. The head coach was not an idiot. I told y'all these folks was going to blame it on the head coach because they didn't line up nine people across the doggone end zone. Boy, everybody think football should be played one way. Football is not played one way. See, it's idiots like this that, that just fry your brain cells. Let's go. But everybody is acting like, oh my God, Dion, what a program builder. And oh, this is just amazing. We'll start with, I want to play, uh, I want to show you all Dave Portnoy's tweet that other people responded to uh, while they're acting like uh, something incredible has uh, just gone on here because Baylor, I mean, uh, because Colorado avoided disaster. What? See what I'm talking about? They hate when prime when other people support and cheer on a victory it's a win it don't matter who you beat a w is a w from a man that came from a program that was one of the 11 when he got there and he's winning the way everybody said he couldn't win He's doing it the way people said it shouldn't be done, but yet he's winning. And then when he celebrated, it's haters like this. Black people who hate to see other black people win. Jason Whitlock is the biggest hater of black people on this planet. I don't know, Kenny's own might be a, they might be neck and neck. But it's not that he hates black, he hates Dion with a passion. Because Dion was great at football, he good at coaching, he coaching his sons. And I don't understand how he can get away with doing that. I don't understand why people are celebrating what he's doing. This type of hate. Let's go. What Dion has done at Colorado is remarkable. They were the worst Power Five program in the country before he got there. Facts. They Dave Portnoy owns Barstool. Dave Portnoy hooked up with Dion and did shows on Barstool before Amazon. It was Parse do. But this hater, he just a hater. Let's go. They were three and one last year. Same as they were three and one this year. So what? Georgia was three and oh last year. Same as they are this year. Alabama was same as they are this year. There's a lot of teams that are same as they were last year at this point. So what's your point? You got to play what's in front of you. This year. Getting to three and one last year, they were more impressive than they've been getting to three and one this year. Right. But somehow we now have testimony and evidence and proof that Deion Sanders has done something incredible. Oh my God, he's the face of college football. And he hates that with a pet. Deion Sanders is the face of college football. Everybody, every day, are always talking about Coach Prime. It's him. You too. Guess who else talking about Coach Prime? You might not be speaking of him in love or in admiration. You're speaking of him in hate with your fake Christian behind. This is a guy that they call, that he called, proclaims himself to be a man of God, a prophet to a man of Christ. But every day, jealousy 
bleeds from his eyes. Gluttony <laughs> bleeds from his skin. <laughs> and hate is how he lives. But he a Christian. I promise you he going to say something about Dion's faith and how Dion's a Christian. He can't help himself. He got to do it because he projecting. That's good. It's a miracle what he's done. The turnaround. Are you kidding me? And, and, and when I was saying this yesterday over Twitter or Saturday night over Twitter and yesterday, people, oh, you're just a hater, Whitlock. Yes, that's a fact. No, my memory isn't shot. I don't have Alzheimer's just yet. We've been here before. If, if, that Hail Mary isn't completed because of the idiocy of the show. The show. Bruh, that wasn't a Hail Mary, bro. It was a pass. Designed. Orchestrated and put out there. It wasn't a Hail Mary. That's what was meant to happen. But let's get back. <laughs> of the Baylor head coach and that prevent defense that they played at the end of the game that wasn't really a prevent defense. They only had two safeties at the end zone at the start of that. <clears throat> they left three wide receivers one-on-one -on -one in a Hail Mary situation. If it wasn't for the idiocy of the Baylor coach, what's the conversation now about the two-and-two -two Colorado Buffaloes who couldn't beat a bad Baylor team? Didn't I tell you? Didn't I mother tell you? Didn't I tell you that this idiot was gonna say all of this already? I told y'all what was gonna happen. But you just gotta know, you gotta know thy enemy. <laughs> Cause this right here, this right here. Oh yeah, he the enemy. He ain't for us at all. This man is self-centered and think he is king righteous knows nothing you crying about Dion because they won a football game are you mad because they want you want them to lose did you? tell the truth you want them to lose you hate when that man has that success and people just fawn all over him you mad about that why? Just why? Colorado has faced one decent quarterback, Nebraska, the freshman kid, Rayola. He's a decent quarterback. The rest of these quarterbacks have been garbage, and this Robertson kid that played for Baylor, the Baylor coaching staff. Hold on. This is a guy that went to Ball State. Didn't Ball State play Miami the other last week? Then they just get drugged by 900 points. And you worried about Colorado. Worry about your own. Worry about your alma mater. Why you ain't making a video on how Cam Ward threw for 9,000 yards on Ball State? Why you ain't making that video? Why you over here crying about how Coach Prime and his team do? Why you crying? about people celebrating this win. Why? What's your point? What's your purpose? What are you trying to prove with these videos? Because it's all hate, jealousy, envy. The things that your Christian, so-called Christian behind are not supposed to do. But in every way it's just oozing out of you hate jealousy and envy of one man why because he's good at what he do good at what he done people still like him for who he is and nobody likes you that's your fault your life you did this to yourself you decided to wake up and be against your people. That's your fault. 
because you can't roam in the same circles that they roam me. You got to roam with them others. You can't roll with us. You're not invited to the cookout. That's why you mad. Because when you step up to the door, we close it. You're not allowed over here in this space. Staff was so afraid of him. They wouldn't let him uh, put the game away. They, I mean, just it's deja fools all over again. And you're being the fools. If you buy into what you just saw from Dion and these guys is some kind of proof that he's turned the program around. They cannot pass protect. Shadur holds the ball way too long. Shadur was inaccurate. Did not look like a first round pick yesterday or, or Saturday. Uh, they are, they're weak against the pass. Again, they can't rush the passer. They have improved in terms of stopping the run. I will give them that. But they can't get past pressure. They, they they haven't truly been tested as a run defense, in my opinion, other than the Nebraska game, and I give them some credit for improving. But they can't block. Y'all just heard all this hate. Why? But I'm saying, why? Are y'all fooled? Y'all are being fooled by Deion Sanders because they want it. Baylor was getting the uh, Shadour anytime they wanted. This was, you know, you make your own luck, but this was luck. And that's why Dion and his son, Shadur, spent so much time uh, praising God after the we game. Go. Because they know they didn't do it. They know they got lucky. And so they had to credit a higher authority because they know, like, man, uh, we should be two and two right now and basically the laughing stock of America, but for some reason we were given a reprieve and 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 he mad because they're giving thanks to the almighty. He mad because this now, mind you, that this is the Christian. And he mad because somebody else gave God the praise. Make it make sense. You mad at me for saying thank you, God, for your blessing on me winning this game, even if they did. Didn't think that they didn't get lucky. They were just blessed with this victory. You mad because they saying it out loud. Mr. Cross on your arm right now. But you a Christian. You these are the things that you supposed to applaud and be thankful for and say, hey people, look, my Christian brother is over here giving God all the praise for helping him achieve his goal for the day. But here you go, hanging your head and mad at them because they doing what you supposed to do. It looks like the reprieve's only going to last another five days because according to Las Vegas, and again, when I was saying all this yesterday, like, man, this wasn't impressive, blah, blah, blah. Vegas comes out with the line against Central Florida. Central Florida opened at minus 11, I've seen it move up to as high as minus 14. People are running around like Dion has done something incredible and look how great the Buffaloes are. And oh, he's the face of college football. And it's amazing. You're a two touchdown underdog to Central Florida? Now, what's the problem with that? It's going to be an underdog in every game. Somebody got to be the underdog. Somebody has to be the downtrodden in every football game. So what, what's the point we trying to get to here? You act like Central Florida trash. 
Central Florida undefeated. They ain't lost to nobody. Colorado lost the game. So tell me once again, what is your point? Because they are two two score underdog, eleven point underdog. What's your point? What's the purpose of you saying any of this? And the people in your, I know if we even go through the comments of this video, it's going to be so much hate. But we're going to get to this first, and then we might get to the comments. Y'all make sure y'all hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, man. Because uh, Jason Whitlock's a fool. He's an idiot. All that jealousy and envy coming from my enemy. Boy, if you don't understand, the green eyed monster is real. You shouldn't be this way. You shouldn't act this way. For a 50 something year old man to be jealous of another man that you are this. Oh, he got the career you wanted, did he? He got the life you wanted, did he? He got the women you wanted, did he? He got the kids that you didn't have, doesn't he? Everything that man got, you want. But you weren't able to achieve it. So now you want to spin, spit hatred and venom on this man's life. Because you're not him. That's Travis. Travis him. Not Dion, but he is him. Literally. But you're mad. Because you thought you were going to be a great ball player. Then you thought you were going to be a great journalist. Then you thought you were going to be a great sports writer. Then you thought you were going to be a great podcast host. You've been kicked around through every network, every newspaper. This Blaze bullcrap is your last stop. Jason, you want to save yourself? You better get out from under Blaze. Build you a studio at home. You should have the money. Build you a studio at home and do your own work. Like Stephen A, like Shannon Sharp, like all these people that you hate but admire so much and want to be them. Follow their footsteps and get out from under these people thumb. I know you like them because you want to be them, but you can't peel their skin off and they don't like you. Same way they don't like us. I'm talking to you, Jason. Be a man, dog, and just say it. Because if I don't like somebody, I'm saying it. Just say I want to be Dion and keep it pushing. And you've executed the greatest turnaround in college football history? You've done something amazing? Vegas saw what I saw. They got lucky. Vegas saw what Dion and his boys saw. They got lucky. Let's start with sock number one, Dion Sanders in his post-game press conference. Oh, we got this. Uh, Here we go. The some of this is. Anyway, let's play the clip and then I'll explain. Sock one. <laughs> God, we thank you tonight for victory. Mm -hmm. Thank you that you kept us relatively safe. Mm -hmm. Thank you that in spite of our imperfections, you still blessed us. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And thank you for being with us to the end. Mm -hmm. Lord, some people call it Hail Mary. Yeah. Some people call it karma. Yeah. Some people call it luck. Yeah. But in my faith tradition, we call it Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> So in the Colorado locker room, they think Jesus completed that Hail Mary. In that studio, you think Jesus is blessing you because you hating on another man for giving Jesus his glory. What is wrong with this guy? Somebody help me understand it. Because I don't understand. It. Hit the like button. And this is one of my issues with Dion. In, in terms of his 
lack of understanding of true Christian faith. But what the hell do you mean? Lack of understanding of true Christian faith. You mean? Never mind. But I, I'm not even going to go to, go there today. I'm just going to go with. They know they should have lost. They in their heart of hearts, they know like, hey, uh, the improvement we thought we were going to have, we we barely got out of uh, against Baylor with a victory, and Baylor's not any good, and the other coach handed us the game with one of the worst defensive calls in the history of football. This man is the biggest hater of all. Somebody need to go give him a hug or something. Because the amount of time that he's wasted, he still ain't made a point. What's his point? Can somebody help me understand it? He mad because Dion is being celebrated. He mad because Dion praising God. He mad because of what? What's your point? In the history of football, what Baylor did at the end of that game, leaving, leaving three receivers one-on-one. -on -one from you keep in mind, Colorado had the ball at the 43-yard line. Man. Not not on, on Baylor's 43-yard line, not Colorado's 43-yard line. And you leave three guys one-on-one -on, -one on the final play of the game? It's the dumbest thing I've ever seen, and I said it in real time, like, what are they doing? And Dion and them know it. Let's listen to Shadur talking about the game time touchdown that eventually led to victory. Let's play slot number two. Uh, we was getting a lot of pressure, so I was like, okay, cool, we're gonna roll right here. So let's go ahead and roll. We put Travis backside, he gonna get all the attention. Then LeJounte just gonna be there outside, one-on-one. -on -one. They not gonna think we're gonna throw him the ball because he's like a shorter guy probably in that situation. So then I roll left. Everybody went in the middle of the end zone, and I just trusted God. <laughs> I just threw it up to God, and God answered the prayer for sure. Mm -hmm. We got lucky. We're not really improved. We could barely beat Baylor, and, and Baylor had to do something really incredibly stupid for us to win the game. It don't matter how you get W, dog. You got to get lucky to win a football game on every doggone game. Some luck, something falls your way. So what's your point? That play, they've done it before. Him rolling out to the left, it wasn't because of pressure. That was automatic. Take the ball, roll to the left. He was looking for LeJonte the whole way. If you was watching the football game, that wasn't a Hail Mary. That was a regular pass. That was a dart. He dropped that in there. Do you understand? That's the same play they ran in the celebration ball. They have run that play before. Y'all just don't pay attention. Or you just rather hate. That's, it, that, that's what he's saying. And everybody's, oh, Dion, what an incredible program. What a turnaround. He's the face of college football. This is deja vu. This is exactly what we saw last year. Do you remember when they beat Colorado State to get to their 3-0 and start? They got lucky. Jay Norville and Colorado State folded last year. Oh, because they beat the other team last year. They got lucky. Again, it's luck. They ain't skilled players. They don't know how to play the game of football. They just got lucky. They're going to keep getting lucky a lot this year. I hope y'all ready. I, just for heaven's sake, let them get the record I said they would, I expect them to have. Jason Whitlock might pull all this hair out of his head. 
if they do what they're what they're able to do if they get everything in order they can play for the big 12 championship and if that happens jason whitlock might have a heart attack with idiotic play calling last year it's the exact same thing all over again will they finish four and eight this year i don't know is it a possibility yes it is based on their offensive line play they have no right tackle none they might as well have me out there oh no oh no oh you wasn't good in your 20s. You think we want you in your 50s? Oh, no. Oh, no. We know they ain't got no right tackle. I've been saying that for two weeks. Well, really three. They ain't got no right tackle. But they'll figure it out. At 57. No right tackle. Their guards are just okay. And their freshman left tackle, uh, two holding calls and yeah. a third penalty, I can't remember. He's struggling. Two holding penalties. And that's the All-American five-star kid that they thought would fix everything. It's all a struggle. Since when did they put all that on Jordan C? They ain't put that on that man. That man got one job. And he doing it very damn well. Mistakes come with being a freshman starting on a power four level. You didn't have that. You didn't start. You maybe got to start one year, but you didn't even finish at Ball State playing football. You quit the football team because you weren't that good. So how are you critiquing somebody else? On the offensive line, and Dion and these guys are committed to throwing the ball. It looked like balance on Saturday. I think they ran the ball 42 times on the stat sheet. But 19 of those were Shadur. And a lot of that was him scrambling and or getting sacked. They weren't true runs. They did switch up some formation stuff and gave them some different looks. Hats off to them for uh, diversifying their offense. But at the end of the day, this was about an idiot head coach at Baylor. At the end of the day, it was about getting the W. Achievement accomplished. So what's the problem? Lining up in the wrong defense, and then after the game, what's the guy's name? D Dave Aranda, the head coach at Baylor? Disrespect. After the game, he throws a kid on the team way under the bus rather than taking responsibility for calling the wrong defense he talked about a kid blowing an assignment they rushed five people and he's mad at one of the rushers for not keeping contained he pointed the finger at the kid rather than taking responsibility for himself it's one of the worst coaching performances in game and after game that i've ever seen play uh, I, yeah, let's play SOT number four. I think this is the Baylor coach talking about the scheme. Yeah, we have, uh, it's called Victory really Cigar. It's supposed to be that. And, uh, you know, we have to the quarterback's hand, uh, we'll have a, 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 an up and under rush. So there'll be a contained rush on the outside. And then there'll be someone that will work up and then come under. And so generally you get, you get uh, sprint outs to the quarterback's hand. And so you want to, you would work an up and under rush to try to flush them to someone that's outside of them for contain. And then away from the quarterback's hand, uh, you have a contain rush. And so, uh, you know, we had an injury earlier in the game. And so we had a backup in that spot, in one of those spots. And, uh, you know, uh, we wanted to see what their formation was. And so we called timeout prior to that play. And then uh, we have the drawings of that play. Um, um, and so during the timeout, we were showing the drawings and uh, we went to opposite sides. You know, the guy that was up and under went away and the guy that was contained went to the other side. And so I think when you watch that play, you'll watch someone come from the right and just go up and under. Well, 
That's a shame because he's contained. <laughs> he's calling the kid out. I went, I went and rewatched the play. They rushed five people. And there is a kid coming off the edge who, who comes underneath. You can see him clear as day, comes underneath rather than keeping contained. And what they wanted to do was flush Shadur out of the pocket. This kid would have contained and they would be flushing him right into this guy. That's right. And, that, and, and it makes the assumption that guy would either. And that kid went the wrong way. He had a free containment blitz, but he went under instead of coming over the top. He went to the line instead of away from the line. He blew his job. He's not lying. They're make the tackle or harass Shadur to the point that he couldn't throw an accurate pass. But that's an assumption. Shadur could have shook that dude and still thrown the pass. This dude has no idea what he's talking about. You rush three and you basically put eight people at the 10 yard. Let me show you exactly what this man is talking about. This is what he's talking about. Bag it up. They're rushing these five. Travis is all the way to the left. So you don't count that. They're rushing those four to the left, plus that one guy right there on top of the buff. That guy on top of the buff right here, this guy should have went straight. But he takes the under route to the line which lets Shadur roll all the way over here to the right side and hit LeJonte down wide open. This was a design play. It was not a Hail Mary. Watch. Perfect ball. Design play, not a Hail Mary. Wanna know how we know it's a design play? Cause it is play right here. <laughs> Should do it to Travis. Celebration bowl. Bag it up. In the corner. Bang. Same play. Back to Jason Whitlock. Y'all ready? Let's go. Line in the back of the end zone. Maybe seven yard line in the back of the end zone. You, you flood that area with eight defenders and you knock down any pass. You, it's the coach screwed this up. The man did what has been working all night. One player missed his assignment, didn't do his job. Ain't nothing he can do about that. He did what's been working all night, getting to the quarterback. That was his plan. Most coaches go away from doing what was working all night and try to do something stupid. He did what had been working for them all night. You just had one player not do his job. Everybody knows it. The Colorado should be two and two. But I, look, I'm going to let you guys have your fun. I'm going to let everybody celebrate. And, oh, it's great. They beat Baylor and it was so exciting and they rushed the field. And, you know, Dion's so exciting. Dion's just fun. Just admit it. He's just fun. Quit being a wet blanket. Football's all about fun, fun, fun. <sighs> no. Dion's a clown. His team hasn't really improved. I don't see him winning more than five or six games this year. Could go four and eight again. Vegas agrees with me. How is Dion a clown? For doing what? Winning a football game? Or you call him a clown personally. Because coaching, he doing his thing. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is where that green-eyed monster show up. That hate and that envy. One of those seven deadly sins. Yeah. That, Mr. Christian, Mr. Man of God. This is where all that shows up at. But no, look at you, sloppery tongue hanging out your mouth. 
Look like you want one of them big ass Twinkies right now. But you really shouldn't be this way, dog. You shouldn't hate a man this much for being this good. They're two touchdown underdogs to Central Florida. So what? Now, I didn't say they're two touchdown underdogs to Michigan, to Texas, to Alabama, to Georgia, to Ohio State, Central Florida. You act like Central Florida trash. Central Florida can be Florida and I'm Florida State right now. Their team is not trash. But if you follow me, you know that's the game I've been crying about all season since the schedule came out. I haven't been worried about nothing else but Central Florida. And you act like they trash, though. They are not. Because Malzahn got them boys right. But if you knew football, like you say you know football, then you would know they ain't trash. Idiots. Hey, stupid people. Two touchdown underdog. But he's turned the whole thing around and we need to be... See, but what he doing, he talking to an audience that don't know nothing about football. Trying to make Dion seem like a bad guy. Like, he don't know what he's doing. Like, he can't coach football. He just got lucky. They three on again, same as they were last year. And a lot of teams are the same as they were last year. Nobody is different, pretty much. A lot of teams were three and oh. A lot of teams were three and one. A lot of teams were four and oh. A lot of teams were one and, one and three, oh and four. A lot of that was going on. So what are you trying to say? Nothing, because you just a hater. Celebrating Dion. No, we don't. Here, here's my last point. I'm gonna move on from Dion. I'm not gonna beat him up uh, too yeah, bad. He beating him up. Making an ass. But Dion, th this is what Dion obsesses about. The kids from Colorado rushed the field. The fans did. And I don't have a problem with it. Some people have a problem. It's just Baylor, why are you rushing the field? Nah, if you watch the game, it was a really exciting game. And they pulled a rabbit out of the hat. I don't blame the kids at Colorado being excited. Uh, you know, they, they pulled, they snatched victory from the jaws of defeat. You rush the field. I got no problem with it. I don't have a problem with Dion not shaking. Uh, the Baylor coach's hand after the game because the field was rushed. But Dion took it upon himself to explain why he didn't shake hands. Play the clip. I want to apologize to the opposition, the way we stormed the field, and I didn't get an opportunity to go and uh, shake the head coach's hand, but I did try to go over to the locker room and uh, wait it out until he came out, but I don't think they got the word to him because that's not professional. I wanted to shake his hand and acknowledge, but I don't like what transpired at the end of the game, but I love what transpired at the end of the game. Now, to the smart people, we don't see nothing wrong with that. We seeing a man saying, I wanted to shake this man's hand, but I wasn't able to because of these circumstances. And I tried to go way outside his locker room, sent word, but, you know, they was handling their business. So we'll get to that another day. What's the problem? I see no problem. But let's let Jason explain what his problem is with Dion being a human being with, you know, feelings and shit. So this is my problem, what I find interesting about that. Dion last week is all upset because people called out Shadur for not shaking the hand of the Colorado State quarterback after the game. The kid walked up, tried to shake his hand. Shadur went, snapped on the guy and acted like the guy, you know, had called him every name in the book. The, the kid, the other kid had done nothing. See? See, this is what I'm talking about. People like this. He actually knows what happened. 
he knows what was said, what was said in that interview and how it transpired. And those kids was talking trash on Instagram and posting stuff on Instagram, being all big boy. But when a man confronts you to your face and you turn your back and walk away like a coward, instead of standing there, listening to what that man has to say, because you had your turn. Now that we didn't had our battle, it's my turn to talk my talk. But you try to make like Shadur didn't shake his hand. No, Shadur had something to say. Let me say what I'm going to say. Then I'm going to shake your hand. Y'all act like it's supposed to go the way you want it to go. Your actions don't get, to, you don't get to control the consequences of your actions. Only thing you can control are your actions. You ain't got no control over the consequences of what happens after you do what you do or say what you say. You can't tell somebody how to act. And that's what y'all want to do. This is how you're supposed to act. You can't tell me how I am supposed to respond to somebody that I feel that disrespected me. You don't tell me how I'm supposed to act. You go out there and hurt somebody or run over somebody's child or do something disrespectful to somebody, that's you. You had control over that. You talk trash about Dion and everybody else on the internet. But when they see you, you don't know what's going on because you have no control over that. And those, my friend, are what we call consequences. You can't control what nobody else does. But you trying to tell a grown man how he's supposed to act when somebody else does something offensive to him. No. Don't work like that. Who raised you? Did they not tell you this? When you went to Ball State, did they not explain? When you were in high school, when you were in elementary school, when you were a toddler, did your parents explain to you that if you do something, there is a response from that action? And it's not of your being, of your control. It's called an ass whooping when you act up. That's what we got growing up. When we did something we weren't supposed to do. When we act up, our parents act up on that ass. See, understand how that works. Man, you can't explain stuff to stupid though. Let's go. Dion got upset because me and others in the media are like, hey man, this is classless. This is a problem with Shadur. He's not a leader. The week before he walked off the field with two minutes on the clock. Now this week he's not willing to shake hands afterwards. The week before he walked off the field because he was hurt. I'm sick of y'all pundits, idiots, trying to turn something into something it's not. When people are telling you what happened, you still refuse to report the right information. That's why you like Donald Trump, because he lied just as much as you do. He the world's biggest idiot, the world's worst liar. But you as a Christian support that man, that man that has been charged with 34 felonies, charged with sexual assault. That man that your Christian behind and your morals, your Christian faith, a man that cheats on his wife. But you a Christian and you support all of that. Fake ass Christians and fake ass evangelistic ass people, man. Y'all better get out of here with that bullshit. Y'all ain't him. Y'all are not good. Just like now. You try to throw that right wing rhetoric when you be on this podcast. You claim yourself to be a Christian, and that goes for every Christian, evangelistic, Catholic, Mormon, Jewish. All of y'all that claim to be Christians and people of God 
support a man that lies to his wife, cheats on his wife, sexually assaults a woman, got a list of women that said they he sexually assaulted them, stole from people, defrauded people, defrauded a charity, defrauded a university. That's the person that you and your Christian ass support. Fuck out of here. Y'all ain't Christian. Y'all just like that man because he a white man. And y'all don't like women to have abortions. But let me get off that tangent because that's another thing. Jason don't know what the hell he's talking about. He just don't like himself, dog. These people are horrible people. Why do we all like them? For it's and so Dion snaps and goes off on the media and, you know, wants to complain about me and others that are questioning Shadur's character and who are saying, like, Shadur is a reflection of Dion. Dion has no class, so his son has no class. And so here's Dion circling back. And last week, he's all upset. How dare someone criticize my son? And if it wasn't my son, they wouldn't happen. He ain't said nothing about his son. He said players. He didn't say nothing about his son. Look at the man's eyes roll up in the top of his head. The money. They ain't said nothing about his son. He said players. He did not speak a word of Shadu. He said players. All of them. Not just the one, two, or three. But see, you right wing types. Y'all don't say what's really reported. Tell the truth. Shame the devil. Make it right. Get right with yourself. Stop lying on people. Stop lying on that man for no reason. Because he better than you. You want his life, his lifestyle, his wife, his kids. I should have hated all that. No, you shouldn't have. I think you like boys. I don't know. 57 years old, ain't married, ain't got no kids. I always talking about the LGBTQ and Gays and, I don't know. People talk a lot about stuff they don't like when they like it. You know what I'm talking about? Let go. And blah, 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 blah. Now Dion circles back next week and says, yeah, it's professional. It's unprofessional not to shake hands with the op opposition after the game. He didn't say now it. he realized. He didn't say it was unprofessional. He said he wanted to shake the man's hand, but he didn't get a chance to because the damn people were on the field. This is what I hate when people just lie for no reason. Trying to turn a story into something that is not. You and these delusional ass people that watch you and think you are good, you are not good. But these are the same people who have the same beliefs of you. All of y'all are fake, phony, fraud-ass individuals. Ain't none of y'all got no friends. Don't nobody like y'all for real. As a, after, you know, let's say a 15-year or 14-year NFL career, four year, three or four years in college, four, three or four years in high school, Dion just figured out it's it's common courtesy and good sportsmanship to shake the opposition's hand after the game. See, I can't deal with these idiots. We we done with Jason Shitlock. Enough is enough, man. When people just report bad things and don't tell the truth and try to take something and spin it. You see how these lights keep going up? Look at these freaking comments. He even said, of course we're not going to start off. See? Look at this. Well, it was a nice addition to this show. Chris Rock said you're supposed to take care of your kids. What do you want a cookie? Right. What are we talking about today for the two and two Colorado, Colorado team? This dude, man. Look at all these people. This dude don't 
game, and he had to tell everybody that. And it, oh, he just, yeah, but hey, you know, I'm upset with the kids for storming the field. It stopped me from uh, doing the common courtesy that my. He didn't say he was upset with the kids. He didn't like what happened, but he liked what happened. Now that might have went over your head. That might have been too big for that little bitty pea brain of yours. I ain't gonna even explain it to you. Because if you didn't get it, then you just don't get it. I bet you them gay ass still popping up on your phone when you're searching for stuff. But you're talking about other people. People in glass houses can't throw stones, man. Stop. Son didn't know to do just last week. Apples don't fall far from trees. This, the foundational pieces aren't in place for Colorado to build something sustainable. They're just Apples don't fall far from the tree. So that means you were raised to be a liar, a bigot, a person that promotes fear, hate, all of it, misogyny, all of it just not they're led by someone who has no foundational pieces he was just supremely talented that's why he's in the nfl hall of fame that's why he's one of the most entertaining athletes of all time that's why he was so pr uh productive as a football player baseball player because he was so supremely talented but he and you mad because you wasn't he mad because he wasn't talented what he's supposed we supposed to be mad because he was that's what people with talent do. They go on and succeed at their skill. That's the purpose of being extra talented. Having that much talent and skill makes you better than everyone else. He was the best at his position. And you mad at that? Lord help us all. He has no foundation. And that's why I don't buy that Colorado has done anything uh, remarkable or. Okay, that's it. That's enough. Let's go to. Uh, let's get back to where we're supposed to be, y'all. Because that's. I, I, I'm sorry. I apologize. It was. I could have went on my thing and, and just shot my shots but i ain't gonna do it right now but anyway jason whitlock's an idiot he's a hater he's a lover of donald trump which makes him a liar you know so it is what it is but anyway i'm gonna get out of here man i'm gonna go chill out you ready to take me a nap because my son got football practice in a little while after he get out of school. And I'm going to go do football practice. And I'm going to come home, take another nap, then jump on the road. You know how we do every day. But we might go live tomorrow and chop it up. But we still waiting on Fine Bomb. Still waiting on some more on three. And somebody else. There's some more out there. We waiting on but anyway man i'm gonna get out of here y'all make sure y'all hit the like button hit the subscribe button i know y'all gonna talk about this one in the comment section so do what you do you know what i'm talking about anyway we're gonna get out of here man i'm out we'll holler at y'all on the next one peace